Hey, I'm Todd. Thanks for choosing to watch my video. And if you would subscribe it, like it, all that stuff, you know, uh, that'd be great. Otherwise, enjoy the video, and I hope it uh, gives you the information you need and is helpful to you. Take care. So I do get a lot of comments with people saying I have saved them a lot of money, and I do get questions, hey, can I send you some money somehow? And now there is a way, if you so choose, called the Fan Funding. You'll find it on the channel page right there. You're placing the valve cover gasket due to oil leaking inside where the spark plugs go here so taking off some of the coils just push this little tab here and it'll slide off eight millimeter bolts holding the coils in just take them off give them a twist and they should pull out we gotta just use a screwdriver and pull these things off of the studs here maybe even do the fuel injectors right here push the tank again and lift So we're getting this stuff out of the way, and we'll do the same in the back. We'll lift these up. And, oh, stupid plastic. Oh, this is so brittle. Oh, there's no hope for those. Take this connector off the back as well. Mm. Little terminal, little piece right here. Just lift up on it. And that'll release it. Hold it out of the way. We're getting ready to get this off here. Maybe undo this bracket as well, maybe. And we'll start taking off. These are uh, eight millimeters, so you need a deep socket, eight millimeter, and start taking these off. So maybe next time you see this, uh, that, those things will be off. We'll take this off. What's in here? We got a sensor in here too. <clears throat> Push the tab right there. I believe the bolts are actually made to stay in the valve cover. They just kind of come out so far easily and then they get hard. I think they're actually supposed to stay in the valve cover. So that's what I just do. Turn them till they are loose. We're going to turn them with our fingers more. We'll just continue taking the bolts out. There's also was uh, another fitting back here. Got that up and off. All right, we got all the uh, eight millimeter bolts loose. We'll try and get this uh, off now. Maybe get the corner. Maybe get the corner of the valve cover here. Uh, 13 millimeter bolts back here for right this bracket. Just get a wrench back there and uh, take it off right down there.
it is out. You can wipe this all clean. Right here, there's going to be some silicone here, so make sure you have some silicone. We'll use a little razor or scraper to get this off. Do not try not to gouge the uh, aluminum. A little bit on this side too, because that's where the timing cover is. So we'll just wipe all this down. Here's our gasket in here. We can just kind of pull it out. There we go, out with the old, and we'll put the new one in the grooves. Should fit in there pretty nice. And we'll uh, go ahead and wipe this down a little bit. If you have some brake cleaner, go ahead and use that. So that's uh, halfway done. You see in the blackness? I was just going to narrate for the wrong video. Oh man. Watch as the gazelle bravely <laughs> holds his head down while eating grass. While the Unaware. ferocious lion yeah. stalks his prey. Unaware. Put a little silicone on here, get it cleaned up. Now the valve cover has these metal inserts, so you really can't uh, probably over tighten it with your quarter inch ratchet. Try and find some uh, torque specs for you on this, but uh, otherwise you snug it down with your quarter inch ratchet, it'll probably be just fine. Like I said, it's got those inserts to keep you from over crushing it. So we get all the bolts tightened down with a quarter inch ratchet. 
I uh, spent about five minutes or so trying to find the information for uh, all the procedures and torque specs, but I had no luck. I don't know where it is in our computer system. don't like the system that we have, but the man you kind of start in the middle and then work your way to the outer ones and then out here. Just snug them down, take your time, and then uh, just tighten them up with the quarter inch ratchet. You should be just fine. And uh, just snap all these connectors back into place. And uh, then you will have replaced your valve cover on your 2.0 liter engine for your Ford Focus and maybe for Mazdas as well. A popular engine for a few years. So if this looks like yours, it'll probably work.